Hi, hi. So I am going to set up a jQuery waypoints demo. Um, so I got the basic HTML done, not fancy, but I made a site for uh, my dog. So um, here is, there's a bunch of sections. There's a squirrel section, there's a peanut butter section, ground scores, and pmail. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to set it up so that when I scroll down, this will stick. And then also, I want these to activate as the sections come into view. So I want to use waypoints for this. So I'm going to take you to the waypoints website. Um, we looked at this in class today. There are a few different ways to install. We just want to do the download. When you click this, you're going to get a big old folder. Um, and then I just wanted to show in the guides, we're going to use the jQuery waypoints um, library. So. This page, um, if it, it, um, it makes pretty good sense, uh, but I will hopefully, want, uh, after I show you the demo, it'll make even more sense. So what I want to do is I'll show you what gets downloaded. Um, you get this big zip file, and inside of it, you get this waypoints lib folder. Um, so this is the whole shebang. I'll shrink it up. The only file that you're going to need is in lib and you want jquery.waypoints.min so what i did was because i don't need all this stuff uh, i just have it all in here for demo but i what i did was i moved the, the thing i needed into my own js folder so in waypoints here's my folder here's my js folder i just moved a copy of that one into here so that's step one um so down here um is where I'm um, uh, importing that. I'm importing it after jQuery, so I need to make sure that jQuery is there first. That you can get from code.jquery.com. Um, waypoints is second, and then my script is going to be after that. So I'll just add a script tag. Um, my video, my face is bugging me. Also, I'm half in light. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, what we first want to do is stick that nav. So I have a class here um, that is not being activated right now. So I have this navbar class. Um, if I add this sticky, it's going to change it to be position fixed, top zero. So what I want to do is come down here and I want to say um, I'm going to make a variable for the navbar var navbar equals and then it's basically just the jQuery class navbar so it's going to point to that navbar so now that I have that um, variable initialized I can call it so I can say navbar dot waypoint so I'm saying use waypoint to do some stuff um, and I want to do a function so I'm going to say function parentheses curly brackets, and then I'm going to open up the curly brackets inside the, the let's see. Um, and so then inside the function, I want to say, um, find the nav bar. Um, and this is using this, J, this, this variable up here, find the nav bar and add a class of sticky. Okay, so um, let's try this out first. Oops. Okay, here's my page. So I'm going to refresh. Okay, and I'm going to scroll up, and hopefully, of course, it doesn't work because you're watching. Okay, um, add class sticky. Oh! When you, when you have toggle class, remove class, add class, because class is in the name of this, this method, you actually don't need the dot. It's, it gets me every time. Okay, let's try again. Scroll. And still not working. Awesome! Yay! Let's look at this. Navbar is navbar. Um, I have two navbars. I guess I don't need both of them. So why do I have to? I don't know why. Um, I'll take out this one. It shouldn't really matter. I don't even probably need both of those. Um, 
nav, nav, yeah, it's all just nav. So, nav bar. Hmm. Oh, I do need it. No, this will become sticky. That seems fine. Okay, I am importing jQuery. I am importing jQuery.waypoints.min. I have a script. I have a navbar is equal to navbar. I have. Oh, <laughs> found it, I hope. You're probably like, oh no, here's the typo. Okay, let's scroll all the way up, refresh. Okay, sticking. Whew. Um, and then we, there is another, uh, I just wanna show you this, there is another um, thing we can add, which is offset. So if I do a comma after that body of the function and I can say offset, is um, like twenty percent. Okay, um, let's try that. Scroll. Okay, so see how it kind of jumps, and then see how once it's loaded, it just like doesn't unstick. Um, it's now stuck forever, and I can't really get get it to be placed underneath my dog header. So what we want to do there is we want to add a, um, an if statement. So I'm going to say if something do something. So I'm going to say um, if direction is equal to down. And in this case, we need to, we're asking um, if the value is equal to, so we need to use this double equal. Um, if the direction's down, do something. So we want to add this class, sticky. And then we can say else, do something else. So we're going to actually remove this class. So there is a remove class. Okay, so then if we're going up, we should be removing sticky. Um, let's give it a try. Okay, so I don't know what's up with that. It's probably a margin up there. Who cares? Oh, right. It's probably the margin for my header. Anyway, so okay, I broke it. Yay! Else something. Else direction down. Not far sticky. Else. What did I do? Remove class sticky. Direction is down. Oh, um, I have a cheat sheet, that's why I keep looking over. So we actually need to pass um, an argument into this, this function. So we want, when we're calling navbar into waypoint, like using waypoints, we wanna say that we also wanna have the direction um, as an argument for this function. So Direction's part of waypoint, but we need to actually like call it into the function. Um, okay, so sticking, we are stuck, and now we are unstuck. Hooray, unstuck. So, and then, um, I don't know how I feel about that. Let's just put it back to zero offset, see what that looks like. And then, so see how that stuff kind of jumps up. I might want to like add um, for this first section, which is squirrels. So we can also, when this happens, um, we can say, hey jQuery, for this squirrels, and this is an ID, so we need to use um, this thing. We want to, let's see, I think we want to add a margin uh, CSS. So margin top of um, 20 pixels. Let's just try that. Okay, so when we're adding sticky, we're also giving it a little more margin top. Oh, what did I do? Okay. Refresh. Scroll up. 
I don't know. Um, we'd have to also remove it. Um, well, let's just not deal with this right now. But anyway, you would have to kind of noodle with the margin so that when it when it sticks, um, you have to kind of take into account the the real estate that it's not taking up anymore. Because when it goes from being, how do I explain this? Um, this is taking up like somewhere around 80 pixels. And when I scroll this up, those 80 pixels get kind of sucked into this like never, never land. <laughs> they're not part of the flow of content anymore because now they're, they're sort of position absolute. They're not in the flow. So they're not taking up real estate. They're kind of floating on top. Okay. Enough talking. So let's get rid of, I need an active um, class so that I could see what these things look like when they were active. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to do part one and two because I've been talking too long. I'm at 11 minutes. Okay, I'm going to do um, active nav in the next one. Alrighty. Thanks.